So let's talk about probability and why it matters when considering Sandstorm, Luna, and Ignis builds. So probability is essentially the chance something happens, right? So when you attack something with Sandstorm, or when you are attacking with Timera and you want to trigger Sandstorm, if she has 25 decks, she has a 25% chance for Sandstorm to occur. And Sandstorm scales her damage, so when it hits, it tends to hit really hard, and it's usually ideal for her and for her picket build, or for, for, for her picket class. So 25 dex is on the lower end for Timera. That's kind of like around where she starts at. So like, let's say you double an enemy, right? So you have probability of A, probability of B. These are hit one and hit two. So in this case, what we're interested in is at least one of the events occurs, meaning one of these happens. So at 25% dex, or 25 dex, in other words, 25% chance to happen, the probability one of these happens is 40%. Now, if you switch her to a brave weapon and you go, so in this case, I'm just looking at A, I'm just triggering A four times. So I'm just simulating what happens because A and B are both the exact same percentage. So it doesn't really matter which one I'm testing four times. But if you do this four times, in other words, use a brave weapon, your probability is up to 68.36% with a low dex rating of 25. Now, Timera easily gets to 35 to 45 dex mid game to end game. So like, let's say she's on 30. So now her chance of getting a sandstorm trigger at 30 dex when doubling is 51% and her chance at getting a sandstorm trigger when using a brave weapon is almost 76%. It's basically 76%. So that's pretty decent. And with quadding, that's like 76% is a pretty high chance it happens. Uh, now let's increase this to 35. Because this is true for Luna builds, for Ignis builds, for Sandstorm builds. Uh, okay, so here's where things start to get interesting. So once you hit like 35, you can see that now when you quad with a Brave Weapon, you have 82% chance for Sandstorm to trigger. And when you double, you have a 57% chance. So you're over the 50-50 mark for doubling, which is pushing you more towards doubling, producing a sandstorm. And you are well over uh, a reasonable chance of it occurring for quadding. Now, when you hit 40, like 35 is kind of like the tipping point, but 40 is where things get really consistent. So 40, when you double, you have a 64% chance for sandstorm to occur once. And when you quad you have an 87% chance. And I think my end game time error was at like 48. So like once you get to like almost 50 decks, you're looking at like insane proc rates. And also as her defense gets higher, you're looking at her dealing more damage with Sandstorm than with critical hits. Like that is a real thing that happens on her when you do this, when you run this build because of the way the damage scaling works. So if you can get, and especially if you get to 50, if you can get to 50 decks, which is possible, uh, you're looking at 75% chance to sandstorm when doubling, and then also 93% chance to see a single sand, sandstorm. So, okay. And then you can also check other things. So you can see how often do both occur. So at 50-50, you have a 25% chance that you get double sandstorms like two sandstorms in a set. And then, let's see, always occurring? Okay, so then you have a very low chance of it happening four times in a row, but it could happen. Uh, let's try like three times, I'm just curious. So getting multiple sandstorms isn't super likely. Let's try two times. So two times, or I'm sorry, this is, um, this is not correct. It would need to be two times out of, um, this right to like 25 or i'm sorry hold on let me change this show all okay there you go that's cool i like how it shows you all of them that's interesting um okay so in order to check for if you get two sandstorms it would basically be this let's do either occurring let's do 75 75 so, or that's the same thing, hold on. I'm, I, think, I think I'm tripping myself up with this math. 
Okay. So because this is what you're looking at, like if you if you do, if you're at fifty percent, if you're at fifty decks, you're looking at two seventy five percent chances. So that's where like this number comes from. That's where this comes from. Um, but what I wanted to know was what's the likelihood of you getting two. So I guess it's just seventy five percent twice. So I guess I would need to check four. Okay, I see. I would have to check twice. So I, and I have to change it to 75. Is that right? And then always occurring. Okay, so there we go. So this is this this is the percent chance that you get two sandstorms uh, when braving. Okay, I, I believe that's correct. Yeah, you can ignore ignore this and ignore that. I just changed this to 75. So this is like the chance. So you have two 75% chances to see a single sandstorm when doubling. So when you brave, you have like two sets of two attacks. So you have four attacks. So you have two chances to get 75%. So the, the chance that you get two sandstorms when braving is 56%. Usually getting a single sandstorm is enough to kill, especially if the base damage on the brave weapon is, you know, boosted to like plus three to plus five. So it's usually enough to kill most targets. The only thing it won't kill is like armor. But Sandstorm tends to hit right through armor and still deal pretty good damage. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about probability, where I got the math from on the Sandstorm triggering, like why I was so sure that it would trigger at high rates, like when you get to like 48, for example, like 48 decks is what my Tamara is at. And then we just check it four times and then we do occurring at least once. So this is, so let's say, let's be a little bit more reasonable. Let's put it at 40. So like, let's say you get her to 40 decks. This, this is your chance of seeing a sandstorm when doubling. This is your chance of seeing a sandstorm when quadding, at least one of them. And I have had instances where I got four sandstorms in a single round or like two or three. So it does happen. Um, yeah, so it's, it's definitely interesting to know this math because it helps you, it helps inform you as to how to make builds uh, you could do something similar with Ignis on Saline. You could do something similar with Luna on Alcarist. It's the same math. So if you double, let's say Alcarist has 35. He doubles, he has 35%. And then if he quads, so if he doubles, he has a 57% chance of Luna proccing once at 35 decks. And then if he quads with a Brave Bow, he has 82% chance of seeing Luna once. Now, Alchrist has 70% dex growth, so getting him to 40 is not unreasonable, so he easily could hit these rates. And if you could get him to like 45, like you're looking at almost guaranteed Luna when braving and a very high chance when doubling. So these things, like, like are, is this as good as critting? It's hard to say. Um, I think Sandstorm on Timera is because she objectively deals more damage with her high defense. So it actually makes a lot of sense on her. On other units, I would say it's solid. It's maybe not as good, potentially. Might, you might be better off just going for crits because you can get some crit rates up pretty high, whereas you can't just like engrave a weapon to give it plus 20% chance to trigger Sandstorm, for example. Um, so there's like some debate for that, but you could use this for crit rates too, right? Like let's say you have a weapon that has 70% chance to crit and you double you have 91% chance to see a single crit. And then if you quad, you have 99% chance. So like if you get these percentages up, you increase your probability, right? So, the, and then you can change these settings to uh, feel free. It's on like omnicalculator.com. Feel free to use this website to check things to, um, you know, theory craft builds and stuff like that. But that's it for this one. It's, we're going back to math class apparently, but really I'm just using a tool. I'm not even teaching you mathematics. So yeah. Definitely like and subscribe if you find this interesting or useful. This is where I was getting these numbers from for Time Era Sandstorm trigger. That's why I was like so sure that like, you know, when it's at even 40 decks, you still have an 87% chance to see a single Sandstorm. And then you can always RNG manipulate with uh, Time Crystal to re-roll the RNG. So you basically can guarantee it. Uh, now, if you're doing something like Iron Man, maybe you don't want to use RNG builds. But if you're doing LTC and you're allowing time crystal, <laughs> I can see it being good. It's even just for crits, right? Like just re-rolling crits. So yeah, peace.